Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 111. It's on interference patterns, which will always occur if we have a number, two or more wave fronts that are interacting. And this French astronomer Jean-Baptiste Le Boquin is showing how interference patterns could be formed in a pool. He's moving his hands back and forth and you're getting these interference patterns in front and behind him. To kind of show you what those look like, imagine these are his two hands that are shaking. They're creating these wave fronts. And what will happen is as those wave fronts interact, you'll have these troughs, in other words, areas where the waves are, there's destructive interference. In other words, they're canceling each other out. The waves are literally going away. And then you'll have these areas where you have these mountains of waves where they're being increased. And so we get these interference patterns that are important in you know, not only sound waves, water waves, but especially light waves. And so wave diffraction, remember, occurs if we ever have waves hitting a gap where that gap is around the size of the wavelength, you get this diffraction pattern. We learned about that in the last video. But let's say you have two slits that are about the size of the wavelength. What you get are these double diffraction patterns and you'll build these interference patterns where they come together. And so a great example of this that you could see in the science lab would be the monochromatic double slit. So when you're shining light through these two slits, you'll actually get these bands of light. Sometimes it's bright and sometimes it's canceling itself out. And so remember wave interference occurs if we ever have two waves in this case that are matching each other as far as their phase goes. They're in phase with each other. What will happen is this one is going up, this one's going up, and so the constructive interference will be going really high up. And so you have these waves that when they hit each other they make much larger waves. We're adding those waves together. But we could also have waves that are out of phase and what happens is they completely cancel each other out. And so an interference pattern is caused by that. So you could see these areas right here are going to be where we have that destructive interference and then we're going to have constructive interference in the middle. And so this is the double slit experiment. What we've got is the PHET simulation is we've got the a, a sheet in the back that's shining the light and then we're going to measure the amount of light that's coming so we're generating a certain um, type of light now you can see as the wave fronts hit the back it's kind of varying but we have on that screen in the back it would be pretty much uniform now if we add one slit what happens is what you might think happen is we have diffraction going on and so near the center on that sheet in the back we're seeing really bright light and then as we move out from that it's kind of dropping off which which makes sense we're getting this mountain peak but watch what happens when we add two slits now as we add two slits that's not just one mountain what we get are these areas where you have constructive interference so we have a huge amount of light but then, I mean, this is interesting, right here, this is directly across from that one slit, it's completely devoid of light. And so that shows us these interference patterns. And so did you learn to qualitatively apply the wave model to describe these interference patterns? I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.